Welcome to Crafting with Louisa. Today um, I've got a little gorgeous foldy step card um, and I've cut this out on my Cricut and it's a file from uh, Laurie Whitlock's store. I'll leave a link for it. Um, a fabulous SVG. Um, really nicely made so I've cut it out of that um, I've done it on a lemon lime twist card base which is retiring stamping up colours so if you want them I'd get them um, now because they won't carry on in June um, so I've done that and I've done it on a celebration paper painted season which is Gorgeous, and I know that. Oops. Um, I know that might look a little bit Christmassy, but I love it. I love, it. and it's got pine cones on it, and it's gorgeous. One of my favourite papers, though, is oh, it's got it upside down. Is um, the mushrooms one? Um, but it's absolutely gorgeous paper. If you haven't seen it, um, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to use that, and I'll leave a link for everything in the description. So I'm using that paper, and then I'm using the Painted Season stamp set, um, which is, comes as a set. If you spend £90, you can pick this up as a celebration item, but only till the end of March, so you need to get a wiggle on if you want to get that. Gorgeous stamp set. But because it hasn't got a sentiment on it, I am using... Um, Wonderful Romance, and sorry the cover slipped on that one. Um, wonderful Romance, and I'm using You Are the Best Thing um, I Never Knew I Needed. I'm going to use that one. And because um, there isn't a black in it, I didn't want to do black ink, so I'm using um, I'm using Early Expresso because it's quite a dark as you can see there it's nearly black but not quite so I thought it would tie in better um, and I'm going to do it slightly different I'm going to do it on a call me clover base um, and then I'm going to do the matte in that colour so I'm going to switch over to the um, computer and I'll show you how to load up the file and how to attach the score lines and another thing I liked about this was that the score lines are actually perforated so it folds really nicely because sometimes, especially if you're using the um, scoring stylus on the Cricut, the score lines are pretty pants, to be honest. Um, they're a lot better on the Maker, but anyway, so yeah, so I'm really pleased with that. So I'm going to go over to the computer and we'll go from there. Okay, so I am on uh, the Laurie Wick lot. Laurie Whitlock, goodness me, um, website, and this is the card that I um, am going to use. Um, she's got loads of fantastic designs, but I quite like this one because I could tailor it myself. Um, but if you just go to cards, um, there's so many. I mean, that was that's quite appropriate for <laughs> what we just had. But so many cards, and I don't think all that reasonably priced. I've started to design my own um, SVGs, um, and I know how difficult it is, and that is quite a reasonable price. So she's got loads of fantastic, that's a lovely one. Um, and she's also got, as well, um, personal use, and she's got licenses, depending on how many else you want to make, and 400. 31 32 quid it's pretty good um so that's that and then i'm going to go to design space and show you how to load it up um so once you've bought um paid for it and you've purchased it it'll be in a zip file so you just want to unzip that so if you go to upload my internet's a little bit slow um <coughs> you go to upload image browse 
um, and then I've got all my SVG files in one place and then I've also got it um, in folders depending on where I got it from so Laurie Whitlock uh, center panel click on the SVG open it up it might take a minute so sorry about that it's um yeah the internet is not very strong here so you just type in what you want to call it type in that and then you go down to the bottom here and save I'm not going to save it because I've already got um I've already saved mine so I'm going to go to projects which is where I saved it to so um, and then you'll want to go to all categories my projects And it will take a minute. Sometimes it does that and then it finds it. I don't know why. Um, and then this is click on that. Um, Customise it. If you will let me. Um, I've coloured these to coordinate the colours that I'm going to cut it out with but you will, when you open it up you will want to select that and go down to the bottom um, the attach um, and then when you select those go attach because otherwise it won't know where the make it, the Cricut will do the scores on a different page so you'll go to make it um, and then continue. Um, I'm just going to switch my cricket on. Um, and then I've um, got my maker. You can hear it making a noise. <laughs> I've got my maker next to here. So I'm just going to choose maker. Um, and then I will cut that out and I will get back to the other camera and put it together okay so I've got everything cut out I've got the card base the mats um, and I forgot to say that I've done um, the inner layer of that one white so that's going to be my stamping layer so I've got my lovely stamps out and I'm going to go with the sentiment first so I can get that where I want it and I love the font of this really nice font and we're going to use early express because that's one of the colours of the pine cone so I thought and again it wasn't quite as black as black that makes any sense. <laughs> I'm just gonna check I've got it straight. Yep. Um pardon my head if it gets in the way. Okay, and then I've got let me see. I had got that one. All right. Let's just try the. Um, clean those in a minute. Might try the pine cone, and I might do it. Um, yeah. So I'm going to do that second. Oops, generation. It's a little bit lighter, and these are our um, oh, distinctive. Okay, and then I'm going to peel that off because I am going to use a line twist, and I might actually grab my um, sponge and sponge these. And I'm okay with it going over the pine cone. 
I don't think. I'm not sure what that is, but it's not a pine bow. <laughs> it's like a um, a fern or something with a fern family. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not green fingered. I'm only green fingered if I get ink or paint on me. And then I'm green fingered. Other than that. And I, I'm just going to grab a sponge. So I'm just going to grab a sponge. I'm going to sponge the edges. Oops. And apparently drop the ink pad. And I'm starting off and keep it moving so I don't get a I don't want to round you know, I don't want to mark and I just want it really subtly done. Just a hint of colour. There we go. And these are these are contraband because of Tim Holtz for the fab. So I am Gonna layer that on there, and I think that looks really nice. Um, and I'm just using Tom because it's next to me. I, I don't. I don't really like, you know, adhesive. Um, you know, I normally like snail, but I picked up a snail, and it would run out. And oh no, I've got some. Others. Every time I put in a stamping up order, that goes in it nearly always. Okay, so you want, I don't know whether you can see, there's two score lines here. Um, I don't want to make up the card, but you've got the two, and then you've got two score lines down here. So have that at the bottom, because that's where that panel sits. And again, I'm just going to use this. Which isn't, I was going to say, it's not my favourite glue. Wet glue generally isn't my favourite glue. <laughs> I'm going to try and get this straighter. Because I didn't get it very in the middle. straight and then I smooth it down to smooth oh yeah it's all going wrong that is good enough for me and then these little panels go here so it's actually really easy to put together. And yes, you could sit and work this out and do all that, but sometimes I just want to make a card. I don't want to faff about working out the measurements or something. Sometimes I just want to make a card. And also I want to use my, you know, I've got a die cutter machine that I want to kind of incorporate. Um, so yes. So then you're going to fold that back, that's going to come forward. Oop. And then these will... So these two at the top are going to come forward, this one's going to go back and then that one's going to come forward. It'll kind of, I know it sounds odd, but it will kind of go on its own. Okay. 
then you let a good brain fold down. And the perforated score lines really help. And I stuck this on dimensions. So that's what I need to do here. And I will tell you, I haven't altered, you know, I haven't made the card bigger or smaller, it's just as it came out, but, you know, as it uploaded. And that's, oh, see, and it measures, just so you know what envelope to go. Just over five and a half. By just over four and a quarter. It should fit in a standard envelope. Um, <coughs> I put those embellishments on because I um, I smudged it. If I'm going to be honest. So two cards, kind of using the same paper, but I think look quite different. So um, I hope you all give this a go. I'll leave a link for everything in the description. Um, I've been Louisa and I will see you next time. Bye!